four days until the NFL draft is here in Detroit. And these renderings put out recently generating a lot of excitement. Uh, so is the fact that the draft last year generated $160 million for the Kansas City economy. And then there's the 300,000 people who visited, too. Megan Woods joins us live with the changes we can see downtown in the next several weeks to get ready for that flood of football fans. Megan. It, that's right, Kimberly Devin. This countdown clock has been at downtown for almost two years now. And as we get closer and closer to April 25th, we're going to see some improvements all around downtown Detroit. But the DDA says it is expected to benefit and impact the community much longer than the draft weekend. It's just not a one off. But yes, the, the, the light shines brightest on the biggest prize. And this is a big prize for the city of Detroit to host the draft. The DDA has five projects they're working to get completed by draft weekend, April 25th to the 27th. Some of them are updates like replacing brick pavers on Woodward sidewalks from Park Avenue to State Street and repairing about 1,000 light poles. Then there's projects that include installing new features like wayfinding signage. We'll have 300,000, maybe 400,000 guests coming into the downtown corridor. Some of those folks are local that hadn't been downtown in a long time. Some of those folks are from Cleveland, from Pittsburgh, from Green Bay, Wisconsin, from Chicago, Illinois. These are projects that have already been approved and budgeted. Add all five projects up and the total cost is in the millions. Because of the increment growth, incremental growth in the city, there is a, a, a tax capture that happens that those dollars can be invested in the DDA boundary. So right now, uh, we uh, have about a $5.7 million investment in all these areas. So some of the other projects they hope to get done by the end of April include uh, repaving the median on Washington Boulevard and beautifying some of the public parking lots in downtown Detroit. So uh, we will put a breakdown of each of those projects so you can get a closer look on clickondetroit.com. Back to you. Megan, we obviously downtown trying to put its best foot forward, but they are also trying to get business owners to do the same thing, right? That's right. So uh, downtown Detroit partnership, they are working with the NFL to really help out businesses. They have resources out there. There's also local chambers who are hosting events to really help business owners get on top of these crowds, but also continue that momentum. And I'll also put resources for that on clickondetroit.com. Good deal. All right, Megan.